Okay, so this video was not planned, but Notion just released a new mini feature and I think it's pretty cool, so I kind of want to show you. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. This feature is specific to templates inside of databases that have relations. If that didn't make any sense, let me just show you. So I'm going to create my two databases. I've got my client's database, my task database, and then I'm going to create a relation between those two. Now I'm going to add a name to them. Now if I go into the client's database and add a template, I'm going to label the template new client. I'm then going to create a linked database to the task database. Now this is where the new bit comes in. When you filter that linked database, you go into the relation client, you want to click on contains, but now instead of selecting all of the things that you would have in that database, you can select the, the template that you're using right now. So I've connected the new client as a filter. What that means is when I go into that client database and I click on that new client template, it's going to bring up that template. So when I go into the client database and select new client template, it will then bring up the template. And because of the filter that we've just put in, the new feature that Notion's added, whatever I name this client, that is going to be the filter that is on the task database. So I'm gonna label this client one, and I'm gonna put in task one, and it automatically links, it creates that relation with client one. So I don't have to manually input the relation, it's already done for me. And then because it's a template, if I add client two in and then go, okay, I want to put the template in, it will then bring in that linked task database and because it is related to the name, I, I already have the client two relation in there. So I can go ahead and add task one, task two, task three and client two as a relation is already there. I don't have to manually input that. You might not be as excited as me over this because that just opens up so many things and makes so many things much easier, but I thought I'd let you know. And if you do want to know more about some of the advanced features in Notion, check out this video over here. I'll see you there.